Yes, I know. Another soup video. But you're gonna watch it anyway. <laughs> it's x thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel so today's video we are going to make ramen i freaking found a ramen recipe on pinterest i am so excited i have to figure out whose um recipe this is and then i will get back to you on that but before you swipe me away or click me out of this video please subscribe like comment thank you for spending 10 minutes of your time with me and let's get started Okay, so the recipe is on Pinterest and it's made by Buttermy Biscuit and it requires six cups of chicken broth, a pound of shrimp, I prefer tail off, um, three fourths of a cup of um, shredded carrots, one teaspoon of fresh ginger. I don't get what is this like solid measurement on a teaspoon, which is like fluid ounce. I just, I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, half a cup of, oh, sorry. Um, two cups of green cabbage chopped, one lime juice, half a cup of onion, three fourths of a cup of sweet peppers. I was a little confused to this because it said sweet peppers. So I bought like a mixture, but it was only the red ones. Um, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sriracha, one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. I don't know why. And two tablespoons of olive oil. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and start cooking the shrimp. For some reason, they're not like really marinated or like no salt and pepper. So I was gonna like originally cook it in this bowl, but they ended up cooking it in the pot. So might as well save a dish. All right, so we're going to start our heat. You guys, as I said, soup is like a comfort food for me i don't know why like i i really believe it's due to my grandma when i was little but i just i don't know like i've always loved soup and when i woke up this morning and went hiking it was gloomy it was cold like there was a bunch of um you know i'm sorry i'm gonna stop right here for a second because when I bought this shrimp, you know, I usually go get it at Ralph's. This time I bought it at um, Bonds, and the packaging was a lot bigger. There was a lot more, there is a lot more shrimp than I expected, and I paid the same amount that I would have paid at Bonds. So I'm kind of almost like not sure if I should use all of this shrimp like i'm almost tempted to but i'm not making that many like bowls of um what is it called soup so i'm like i don't know it's gonna, it's gonna be like a shrimp overload but anyway i don't know i just love soup so much like it is my favorite food so i am trying so hard not to eat cup of noodles it is a struggle on a daily because I love cup of noodles. And even though I've like had real ramen, sometimes it's just, I don't know, like you still have to have that cup of noodles once in a while. I remember as a kid eating that crap all the time, like two, three times a day and there's so much sodium in it. All right, I'm probably gonna use about half and then I'll, tomorrow I'll make something else with shrimp so i'm gonna pause the video here and put the rest away okay so i came over to this egg <laughs> to the chopping block and this is a little package of peppers that i got oh this camera angle and stuff sucks anyway so this is a package uh a word of advice don't be cheap <laughs> like i did and risk your finger is like just buy the shredded carrots. <laughs> the reason why I did not buy the shredded carrots is was because it was a pretty big package and I was like, I'm never gonna like use these again. So these I was like, at least I can like take them for lunch and have them as a snack. But here I'm like, my fingers are, I'm gonna end up in the ER by the end of this video. 
yeah we're just gonna stop right there so i'm gonna go ahead and finish chopping up i already got the onion the uh garlic the ginger do you peel this like what i don't know should i grate it anyway i've never used ginger before i'm gonna go ahead and chop this up the shrimp is already done and then we'll start uh making the soup all right some of the stuff is chopped up so i'm gonna go ahead and start cooking that you guys, I'm telling you, living on your own kind of sucks when it comes to cooking because you spend all this money on all these products and, like, only you're going to eat it. And, like, my cabbage, I literally walked around for a little bit to see if there was anything, like, smaller or pre-packaged cabbage that was just in a not as big. Because I'm like, what am I going to do with that? I don't eat cabbage. I guess I can find a cabbage soup freaking recipe for this week. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and start cooking this. So I have the garlic, the onion, the red peppers, the ginger, and the carrots. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that in there. And while this is kind of cooking, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the cabbage. I'm not really a big fan of cabbage. I was kind of skeptical of like making this recipe because of it, but I mean, I guess I've never tried this before. This is my first time making this one. The other two soups I had made in the past, this one, I don't know. I hope it's good. All right. I literally chopped this up. Like, are you sure? Mm, I don't know. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I didn't put as much as it said to just because I don't know. Not the biggest fan of cabbage, but hey, maybe it'll like shrink in size. <laughs> One can wonder. Okay, I already added four cups of water, so here are the last two. And then I have to add six of these little tablespoons. I always find it so funny that all these recipes call for chicken broth. <laughs> six of that. Go ahead and put this away. All right, we're gonna add our limes now. Lime juice, to be exact. I'm telling you guys, I don't know why this is so hard to like squeeze. Am I retarded? Like, what is going on here? You know, I'm really just like shocked that there's no spices, like no salt no pepper like nothing i mean i never tried ginger so i don't know what like that is like what it tastes like if that's some type of spice <laughs> obviously it's not a spice but you know what i mean like it, it just has some flavor to it i don't i don't know anyway uh so three tablespoons of soy sauce so One tablespoon of sriracha. It says that this depends on like your spice level. So if you don't like spicy food, I guess you can omit this part or um, add more or less. But I would definitely do it to taste if you're sensitive. No more space up there. Um, okay, and then last but not least, one and a half a tablespoon of brown sugar. I still 
Still don't get this brown sugar business, but okay. We'll do it. And brown sugar is like not... <laughs> Yo, this is just so funny to me. I'm about to put sugar in a soup. All right, we'll see. This is so chunky that I don't know if I'm measuring it correctly. That sounds, looks about right. All right, I'm gonna throw in the noodles. I, okay. It looks like in the video of the recipe that they literally just got like the packaged ramen noodles and like dumped it in there. I was trying to be a little bit more authentic. So I got these oriental style noodles. It asks for three packages of the ramen like cup of noodles. So I'm going to put in one of these. I bought two just in case, but I don't know. I was try not trying to be healthy, but just, I guess, trying to be as authentic as possible. I don't know. <laughs> um, throw that back there for now. So we're gonna let this cook. Like I got a spatula and not a fork today. So I'm gonna let these noodles cook and then we're gonna toss in the shrimp and then we'll just garnish it and it should be ready. All right, I gave the noodles a little bit more time to cook. So now I'm going to add the shrimp. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's because I don't wanna get splashed by hot water. No burns for me, thank you. I guess I can give you a look-see of what it looks like. Mm. So I poured myself a bowl and I already tried it and I realized that every time I make these cooking videos, I don't let you know what it tastes like. So. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Oh, and if by the way, if you're wondering where I got these cute little sets from, uh, I got them from Crate and Barrel, I wanna say like seven years ago. So I don't know if they still have them, but I'm sure Amazon will, cause Amazon has everything. So let's go ahead and try this. Cause I was very skeptical about the cabbage. I mean, it ain't Ginia. <laughs> it's not Cal Ramen by Mama. But if you can't get to one of those places, I mean, it's definitely a better upgrade than a cup of noodles. <laughs> like, it does taste good. Uh, shocking because I am not the greatest cook. So wonder where that piece of ginger went. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Cameron came over and we're doing homework together. And he liked my soup. <laughs> <laughs>